All right, hey everybody, Miku X Legend is back for more Death and Request 2. Now, we're just, uh, we're, no, not a month, all month long of this game is nearly over. Although I will still continue the game next month where we're, we're basically be two per week. But I have to figure out what, what I'll have in mind for the schedule though at the time. But yeah, we'll see. But, and also, we're a week away from, well, on the 31st, uh, on the 31st, uh, well, the 30th will be the last day we will break the streak for Death and Request 2, per se. And until it goes back to its normal, like, two videos per week for for that game. Yeah, that's confirmed because I, lo I enjoyed playing this game also. But there are a couple of others I like to play also, but I still have to figure that out. I'll let you guys know through Twitter if I know. So keep an eye out on that from there. Anyway, let's just get going. Alright, everyone's here. Liliana, Sheena, no one saw you while you were coming here, right? Yes, it should be fine. I memorized the routes for the night patrol, so it's fine. Here we go. Roddy, for my sake, are you sure you're okay with this? Yes, I'm going with you. I want to. I understand. Then I won't ask anymore. Let's do our best together, Roddy. Yeah, let's do our best. So where's ex where exactly are we leaving from the town from? We went to the shopping district last night, right? It should be past here. There. The shopping district had to be connected to the outside, otherwise supplies couldn't be brought in. Right, right, Sheena? Uh, yes, that's right. When I first came to this town by car, I first passed the shopping district. Sheena was definitely acting a little strange. She seemed restless. Or that her mind was elsewhere. She has started acting differently since yesterday, before he had gone outside. What could have happened? I doubt that Sheena would lie to us and directly ha handed us over to the headmistress, but... Sheena, keep it together. Sorry, my my mind's been fo focused so, so much on getting wor word on the, to the outside. As long as that's all, it's dangerous outside so don't let your guard down I know leave it to your older sister big sis Sheena huh? has a nice ring to it oh but I won't give mine to you <laughs> I'm not going to take her besides I'm not yours in the first place Roddy what I thought your bunny and soul were already mine Roddy Clary clambered in her usual bright way. It was possible she was trying to lighten the mood in her own way. Hey everyone, why don't we get going? There's nothing good about us staying here any longer. I guess you're right. Liliana, you're absolutely... You shouldn't rush ahead on your own, okay? Yes, I understand. Good girl. Alright then, let's head out. To make sure we wouldn't be found by anyone, we paid the uh, utmost care and headed towards the entrance. Then we quietly opened the door, inhaled the cool night air, found a resolve, and walked out. They, le they left. Mercy, we're heading out too. Are we really going? The headmistress won't to to told us we shouldn't go outside past midnight. I told you we're leaving now, so her mumbling means nothing. More importantly, we absolutely can't let already any others out of our sight, understood? Yeah. Then we're going, Mercy. Move over, my and Roddy. There's room for more city slickers where you're headed. Okay. So that won't be good. We have stalkers behind. <laughs> Sheena, are you okay? Huh? Oh. I'm fine. Let's hurry. 
Let's escape from the south side. Hmm. Just in case. Okay, so yeah, we are still going to the shopping district, though, as I mentioned. Benches, we uh, we'll make this quick though. I said nothing, so hmm. just in case. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's, it's a matter of skipping though. Sheena, just in case, keep your screen open to text. We don't know when or where, when or where, where we'll get a signal after all. Yes, you're right. Hey, Sheena, you really are hiding something from us, aren't you? You've been acting strange since last night. But really, it's nothing. It's not like I think you betray us now of all times. So if not something happened, tell us. Or can you not trust us? That's not true. I trust you, Mai. You're right. We did say we wouldn't keep any secrets. But... Sheena quickly glanced at Ron Ray's face. Perhaps she sensed that awkward atmosphere, but Roddy spoke with an air of understanding. It must be about Mother. It's okay. Sheena, please tell us. If you say so, Roddy. Would be better if I didn't... Would be better if I didn't listen? <clears throat> the Leona sense it wouldn't be as a pleasant story, but was being cautious. Until now, I prefer to keep things light around her. But for now, we would be leaving and working together. I feel it would be best to respect her as a person and allow her to decide. Liliana, you decide. Uh, I'll listen. I, I don't know if I could be any of help, but please allow me to listen. Okay. You see, yesterday, the headmistress did a terrible thing to me. Headmistress, I brought Ninomiya. Prompt by Sushisu's words, the headmistress responded by asking her to come in. Shizu opened the door slightly, then turned towards me. Now that, now that, now that Ninomiya, the headmistress is waiting for you. Y yes. I wondered if Shizu's response was a little overblown for only having been called by the headmistress. Pardon me. What? Wait. What? As I entered the headmistress's room, I saw a spectacle unlike anything I have ever seen and words left me. The headmistress sat cross-legged in a chair and was giving me a cold smile. Behind me, as if it not to let me escape, Shizu closed the door with one hand and stood there. Her face was smiling like usual. Hey, mistress, um, what is this? You know me, uh, gravel before me. Uh, I really don't understand. What are you saying? I'm telling you to swear allegiance to me. What? No, I mean, why, why would I gravel... In that mo in that in that moment, I was pushed down pushed down by Shizu from behind, and while I had my body pinned down, my clothes were. Then while it was pinned down. What? No, she stomped on me on the outside of my clothes, and in the end, stomped on my head. Even then, I somehow managed to escape the hit, but the headmaster said at this at the very end the person you're looking for might not be with us anymore <laughs> how horrible awful I I realized I was putting enough strength in my fist for my nails to dig in <clears throat> Sheena was smiling but she was shaking most likely she hid the truly terrible part it's for our sakes i knew something was strange about wordsworth but i didn't think it was to this extent from listening to sheena's story it 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 wasn't just a headmistress but all the maids were abnormal 
haven't been told about how her own mother had done something so horrible, Roddy merely hung her head silent. Roddy is just as much of a victim as Sheena is. That's why when we saw that arm, she possibly thought that it was from Arata Mizunashi. A highly skilled Enigma programmer, Arata Mizunashi. The co-worker that Sheena had long been searching for was also the person who had given me the passcode. If the headmistress's last words were true, then that would mean Arata Mizunashi is no longer in this world. And the corpse we found yesterday was holding the passcode that week he could be that could be used on my laptop. See? There's a very high probability. That's why I was shaken. The ex Sandy Sheena has shown before going out last night and her reaction to the rotten arm both finally connected. Even after repeatedly going through such terrible things, Sheena had kept it deep in her heart so as not to worry us. It hasn't, been it hasn't been decided yet, Sheena. You can't give up until you've seen it with your own eyes. That That's right. We may like power, but we will help you as well. There's no need to believe my mother's... No, the headmistress's words from your story. She clearly isn't of a sound mind. So let's go out of town and send your text, okay? If we can get into contact with someone, I'm sure there's a lot we can learn. Everyone. Yes, you're right. I can't break now. I'll do my best. That's the spirit. Now let's keep going forward. Okay. They're too far away. I can't understand what they're saying at all. Ugh, hurry up and head out from this creepy place already. Hey, why don't we just head back now? What are you saying, Mercy? We made it this far. Absolutely won't be returning. After all, this life, after all, city life awaits us just beyond this point. <coughs> okay, so let's keep moving on, moving on. I believe we're going to another shopping district thing. Because we were going to go there, but... Oh. Not that we got hit by enemies, so... Here just, I go. just to let you know. Uh, I don't even know all right. how bad are these enemies. Yeah. Yeah. We're facing the wrong way, too. Good right. job! You ain't seen well. nothing yet! I can use this! I'm powered up! It's my turn! There! Well, maybe if I go all the way over there... I'm gonna go... Wait a minute. Bang! Yeah! Blow away! Let's do this! You ain't seen I nothing out of my way! Please. Leave this to me! <laughs> hmm. Yeah, doing good. I just thought of. Okay, so let's keep moving on, moving on. I think we already got something that we need. So. Hmm. Wait. Just. Oh my goodness, we went the wrong way. Yep. You know what to do. Hmm. Just. To well, at least it's not the problem that we had before. Hmm. Or it's just, just in case. Or it might be right over there, though. I don't know. Still seems to be a long way. Yeah, still a long ways to the shopping district. You okay, Liliana? Yes, somehow. Okay, so I think we were good. These aren't too bad, but this guy... Well, there's too many problems. Oh my goodness. Yeah, remember this, guys? My, you know what to do. And that guy, like, remember this? <laughs> no. We're not, we're not too worried. We're supposed to go that way anyway, so... Whoa! W watch out! That was close one, Roddy. 
Thank you, Sheena. Watch it, Roddy. Ugh. Is someone going to catch me? I wish it was mine. What? You didn't catch me. Uh, you're not making any sense. <laughs> Come on, guys. We're almost there. Let's go. Yeah, it's somewhere right over there. Well, hmm. Just I, in this is going to be a small problem. Okay, so right there is where we're stuck at. No ah! use. No use. We're just going to go ahead and fight it. Everyone, follow me. It's my turn. There. So what I'm going to do... So what we saw right here Just might as well, like. All good. Leave this to me. I'm starting to believe. Well, get overkill. No! Might as well get overkill points. So that's one thing for sure. I don't care anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Well, we can't do anything yet. Is this good? Nope. Is this good? Realized. Your efforts are futile. Are you I know not there's dead overkill yet? points though, but. Be gone from my sight. Goodbye. I'm a lot of energy! I'm back to normal. This might be Good thing I'm so much stronger! There are now, uh. She's a little 50, though. <laughs> well, we don't have to walk past here anymore. I'm kind of scared to go to the vent at the moment. I'm sorry, but I want to save. Well, we don't have to fight the one that goes past anymore. Doing so. Hmm. 
just in case. Oh goodness. All right, let's go. Maybe that'll mark the final battle, I believe. <gasps> oh goodness. Oh, what's this? Well. Those are your looking dolls. Hey, <laughs> okay. Leave it to me. Okay, so I'm gonna go right ahead and uh. All good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ha! Yeah. Eat this. Yeah. Yeah, I've been out of here. here. Yeah. Let's do this. Eat this. Power's overflowing. Oh. Phew. Defeated. I feel power overflowing. Uh oh. An intruder? This is bad. <laughs> well, at least Rodney can take care of the rest, so... A powered-up Roddy has arrived! Roddy, push yourself! Aim for the wrong one, though. Okay, okay, now hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and don't forget to ring the bell so you can get notified whenever I upload. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye and you guys take care.